over the last night and tonight, we've heard so many points, a lot of information. Uh, the average man, the average man or woman, uh, you know, probably cannot, you know, understand most of it. And I, I heard some different interpretations. Uh, I heard that Dr. Wood said the Quran was clear. And today he said, or tonight he said, that the Bible needs to interpret this way or that way. Uh, and it was a question yesterday, uh, how do you explain that all this uh, violence in the Middle East or in Muslim countries uh, if they are following the, the, the Quran? And obviously the, the Muslim countries don't have veto power also, but also I want somebody to explain to me how would the Muslims would rule Spain for 800 years, ruling, you know, mainly Christians, and then they don't wipe them out, they don't kill them all, whether, they, you know, they, they, and don't even attempt to convert them, yet when the, uh, when the, when the Muslims lose power, they're, they're, yeah, everybody knows about the Inquisition and so forth. So it, all we can get out of this is what, the, the books or, uh, you know, how, how it effect those books have on, on, on the people of the faith. So uh, thank you, explain Chair. That. Do you want to respond? Mm -hmm. Sure. Um, uh, David has given, um, a, as a questioner is pointing out, uh, a, a, a rosy picture of how Christians have been positively influenced by the Bible, and that's, that's great. We uh, admit that. Uh, but at the same time, as the questioner points out, like the, the Crusaders, the way they behaved, uh, that was not uh, very biblical, was it? And I have a whole book here written entitled, uh, The Bible Tells Me So, Uses and Abuses of Holy Scripture, and uh, by Jim Hill and another author. The book just simply shows that people can use the Bible in one way or misuse it in another way, and people have done that over history. There have been killings, there have been uh, inquisitions, witch hunts, uh, wars of religion in Europe, uh, uh, Protestants fighting uh, Catholics, uh, and so on. Uh, and uh, to this day, some violence continues by people who think that they are acting on, on the Bible. Uh, whereas, uh, on the other hand, as the questioner points out, the, the other side of the picture that, uh, that we should bear in mind about Muslim history is that even though I have uh, come down hard on the classical commentators on the Quran, uh, but they said many good things which uh, Muslims have benefited from. In fact, when non-Muslim historians of religion think about just war theory, they say that Muslim scholars themselves constructed their own just war theory, and they point out to many positive aspects of that theory. If you read, for example, a book by John Kil Kelsey uh, and another two books co-authored by him and Turner, uh, they point to how just war theory has been uh, uh, thought about by both Muslims and Christians and by others uh, throughout history. Uh, so it is not something exclusive to Christianity, that Christianity can produce good people. In fact, uh, what uh, that Professor Darrell Cole has pointed out is that during the Crusader years, uh, Saladin, who was uh, a Muslim champion at the time, when he uh, was in a position of power, he treated his enemies in a much better way, in fact with forgiveness and, and uh, mercy, uh, as opposed to the, the treatment given by the European invaders at the time.